Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, this is like the second video that I've recorded in, you know, about a week or so. So, I'm, I am really liking the kind of process of recording. So, I might actually kind of get back into that. Um, as of right now, I'm still going to be doing my live streams, at least for a little while. Um, because I do like the interaction. But, um, I kind of, I think I'm going to weave back into some recordings. Um, cause it's just, I don't know, it's fun and it, I really do like that, you know, uh, the shorter videos cause I know when I'm looking on YouTube, I kind of like to find videos that are kind of shorter and informational as well. And just kind of show you guys, um, the different things that I've been doing and such like that. Anyway, this thing that I have here is actually kind of cool. Um, so one of my really good friends, her name is Melissa Reynolds. Um, her channel is do what you love and monthly she has what's called, she calls them project shares, but basically it's just, it's a project swap. So this month for January, she said to, um, use four greeting cards with four envelopes and create a flip book. So I wanted to show you guys what I did with that. Um, first I want to show you the greeting cards that I used. Um, these, um, and I did ask her if I could just use ones that were in my stash because I have a lot of cards in my stash. So I just picked four cards. I didn't really care what they looked like to be honest with you. Cause I knew I was going to cover them up anyway. Um, and these are all blank, just regular, you know, here I'll show you as soon as I find my stick with numbers and there it is. Okay. So like I guess it's been a minute since I've recorded. So everything's kind of like out of whack. Um, this one is they're five and a half by four and a quarter. Thereabouts is the size of these particular cards and these envelopes. So I used four of these envelopes and four of these cards. Now the way that she did it, I'll try to remember to link her original video in the description box because again, with the recordings, they're a little bit different than the live streams. I can just link the videos to you guys, but with the videos, it's a little bit different because you can just find all the links in one localized area instead of me having to go back after the video is already uploaded, which can take up to several hours to do in a live stream. Um, that or you're searching through, you know, a couple hours of comments to try to find the linked video. And so that's another reason why I really do like the videos a little bit more. But anyway, she has um, a process video in which she shows you one way to make a flip book out of four cards and four envelopes. And basically what she did was she made it to where it would just keep flipping like this, you know, and it would just keep going. So I did that my style. So here's the four envelopes that I used. We're going to put that over. Uh, this is, these are my scraps. These are what's left. Now I have, I do have a couple pieces, not that that's not supposed to be over there. I do have a couple pieces that are a little bit larger and by a couple, I do mean not very many. Um, but most of them, as you can see, are very, very tiny. So what I did when I created my book was I used the paper pad that is not down here. Where did you go? It's Prima. I do know that. Oh, did I put it back up there? I might have actually put it back. And so I don't know how to edit these things yet. So forgive me if I'm kind of scrambling through the videos because I don't know how to edit. Um, oh, it's right beside me. So how I did it on my laptop was very complex. I had to record on my phone, then upload it onto my laptop, then upload it from my laptop into my editing software, from my editing software, put it on my hard drive because it's bigger than my computer, then from my hard drive, put it into my YouTube. But my editing software is on my laptop. 
not my computer, my PC. So anyway, y'all don't care about any of that. So I used what's called Printery Collection from Prima Marketing. This is a six by six paper pad. And this is basically the papers in this pad. Uh, very, very pretty, nice natural tones. Um, and I also used some napkins as well. I didn't think. The napkins I used, I just used from my stash. They are these napkins. This one I happen to put on a different card, but these were the napkins that I used. Um, and I used this as a background, uh, just kind of to give an accent to it. Uh, this is what's left. So we're just going to move that out of the way. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and, and recycle this little pile because um, that's I, I've used a significant amount of the scraps. So I don't think that saving those itsy bitsy teensy tiny pieces is going to do much um, other than irritate me because they're so tiny. Uh, and this is just the wax paper that I had down while I was doing the project. There's nothing really significant other than it covers up my my gessoing on my paper down here, which, I mean, we could use that too. It doesn't matter, honestly. Uh, I wish there was a timer or something on this video so I could see, like, how long the video is. Um, like, I don't have any kind of way to say, okay, well, it's 20 minutes or 15 minutes. I'm just kind of guessing. Oh, I found it. It's at 7.01 right now. Okay. Yay. I found it. Anyway, so this is done with seam binding. Uh, this particular seam binding, um, once you melt the edges, it doesn't actually um, deter it from straying or from fraying. So what I did is I put some tacky glue on both sides and then I just tabbed or flagged or whatever the edges. Now I did actually adhere this to the back here and the spine. It's not adhered to the front and it's not adhered any more than right here because this unfolds a good bit. Um, and I'll, also another reason on while I'm doing this video is because um, it is a little complicated uh, this particular flip and so that way when Missy does her video she'll kind of know how it's supposed to unfold because um, normally I would just write a letter but it's a little complicating so um, anyway so this is the cover and these are laces that are in uh, my inventory these are actually in my shop um, so this little tab here you pull forward and this is seam binding with lace around the edge here. So this is the first card and you take the same tab and you pull it this way and it opens up this way. So this is the first card and you've got a neat little flip through here and I made this um, last week on one of my live streams. Um, it's a little pocket or a little tuck spot here with a tag and a stamped embellishment. Uh, this is a tuck as well, but it's a reverse tuck and it goes up and I'm trying to glue my pieces apparently to the, <laughs> to the tuck, but this goes up this way instead of through the bottom. And again, with the ticketed embellishment and another of the little tags. And I just used the uh, little pearl drop things and I filled in the holes of the lace and then I put a couple up here to go with it. But as you guys can see here, you have just a little bit of a peeking through of the napkin. So that's that card, but then there's a tab right here. So it flips up. So let me zoom you guys out just a smidge. 
more. There we go. And you have this embellished page here, which is the back of the first card. This is the first envelope decorated on the front. As you can see, some more of the napkin pieces here. And this particular envelope pocket has a few of the embellished um, tickets. There's, I think, four in here. Um, I made a bunch of these one day last week, and they're just, they're really fun to add to your different projects. And I made a bunch of them. Like, I still have quite a bit over here um, to play with. And that's just the ones that I have made up. And, oops. Anyway, as you can see, I've used a lot of them in the decoration, but I wanted to add some more because one of the things with the project share was to fill the pockets with goodies. So all of the goodies that I filled were made. So I made everything in this journal. Um, this is a pocket here. It's like a pocket inside of a pocket, if you will. So this was a pocket that I used up some of my book pages and put some stickles on the corners. And this is one of the um, cutoffs of the paper that I used, but it was a very large piece. So I wanted to go ahead and add that in with the goodies to give to your partner. So another tab, this is where it gets a little complicating. Okay, so this tab pulls open like this. Okay, let's just go here first. Here is a tuck spot here with um, one of my faux stamps that I created with um, book page and napkin and some banners that I created with some of the cutoffs. There's a lot of the banners both in the decoration as well as added to the goodie pockets. Um, here's another one of the envelopes. This is the second card and the second envelope. And here is, this is a little glassine envelope. Another banner and another glassine envelope. But let's see again with the stamps, you can use them in so many different ways. If you guys have a lot of stamps, if you have a lot of um, like envelopes and such, like when you get happy mail, definitely save the envelopes because the stamps are really easy to take off. So this is the second card. Open that up. There's another one of the glassine envelopes with more butterflies. Butterflies is pretty prominent in this particular flip journal thing. Um, Another belly band here with another little mini journal here. And then close that back up and then take this and pull. Okay, let's move my mouse. We've got another belly band here that ha houses another flip or another little mini journal. Okay. And another one of the little tiny tucks here with another glassine bag and a banner. And then pull again. Okay. Uh, this is the third card, by the way. This one is the third card. And this is the third envelope here. And try not to click anything with that mouse. Um, some more goodies on the inside of the pocket here. We've got some banner and another stamp embellishment and I made a little banner and put some lace on it. So there's that in there. 
and all of these little envelopes because if you remember me showing you this envelope it's very very thin and when we're putting goodies inside of envelopes like this you really want to try to make sure to reinforce this envelope because it's really thin paper now if you make an envelope out of thicker paper or if you have an envelope out of thicker paper it may not be necessary so here's some more of the banners but I used them in decoration and you can see the napkin on the back behind all of the goodies and so we're not gonna pull it anymore because it's 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 already completely unfolded and I don't know if my camera will span out far enough to catch all of it but I will try when I'm done and then this is the fourth and final card this one I thought was really cool um, so I used a combination of glues to put all this together and I'll go over that in a minute too so uh, this was in one of the pages, and I thought it was really cute, so I cut it out. Um, and then a banner to go with it, and it's kind of contrasting of the little embellishment there. And then one of the stamped embellishments I glued onto the page. This is a hidden paper clip. Uh, do I have anything on the other side? I think I might. Um, so let me hold off on that just a second. So I'm going to pull this out. And this is the fourth and final card here. And this has got a tuck right here with some more banners. And I really liked this, so I cut this down and this was part of one of the pages. So I cut it down, rounded the corners, and added it to this particular goodie pile. Another one of the stamp embellishments. And I also put lace on my, uh, not all of the edges, but some of the edges throughout the card because I really love this lace. And this is sticking. So this goes over here. So we've got two cards here. We've got a tag here and a banner here. This banner is done a little bit different. It's... Um, I did it with some scallop um, shears. I got new scissors and they're amazing. Um, they're huge. And you can use these on fabric or you can use them on paper. These things are amazing. I got them on Amazon. Um, but anyway, so I did that here as well. And I used a little staple. Uh, the back is, you can still see the staple, but on the front I did cover it up with another one of the cutoffs and I just used a circle punch to kind of create that on each side and I also have um, some liquid pearl dots on the edge of I don't know what shape this is but the part partial circle thing <laughs> I don't know um, and then here is another tag I did the this part a little bit different um, but it's still stapled and it's seam binding and oh and I can take this off now so it's a tag or it's a paper clip and it just goes right on your paper and you can even embellish this further I did like this particular um, I didn't want to cover this up because the way it sat on the card was really cool um, because sitting this way the words are upright and I have other stuff on the other side and sitting this way the words are also upright so they're upright and they're upright cool huh so that's the final card and then this is the final envelope is right here so this is another paper clip I thought this was really cool um, there's the paper clip on the back and I didn't put anything inside these particular pockets but they are pockets um, come here you And I made this last week as well. Um, just some of the things that you can do with junk mail. Because this was created using junk mail. Pretty cool, huh? 
and one of my dangles that I, I like to make. Um, and that I just had sitting right here on the edge and inside the last final envelope is some more of the goodies and that is it and hopefully this will also help Missy kind of um, know how to open this thing up because like I said it's a little complicating and I didn't intentionally make it this complicating but it definitely ended up that way <laughs> so and then folding it all back up so if it's completely unfolded this is what it looks like okay let's see if I can't make this zoom I don't think I'm gonna be able to zoom out that much zoom Zoom. Oh, I can. <laughs> Hot dog. Okay. So, completely. Oh, almost. One more. Okay. There we go. So, completely. Y'all can see the mess of my desk. Completely on zoomed in or completely zoomed out. You can see this all in its gloriness. Now, I'm going to show you how to fold this back up. So, this folds down. This folds up. And then this, it's an accordion. Well, I don't know if it's an accordion per se, but it just folds just like that. And then this glows right on top. Uh, I do want that to come down though. This little piece right here, it's sitting funny. There we go. And then it just all folds right back up. And voila. And that's it. So that is my entry into Melissa uh, Missy. Her January project swap. Which is the, um, the four cards into a flip book uh, project. And she said that you could do it in any style that you wanted to. So I chose... Uh, to do it in well my style which I don't really have a style I just I do very eclectic work <laughs> um, but anyway that's it and I really hope you guys enjoyed this I really hope you liked it and whoever gets this I really hope that you also enjoy this and you like it and I hope that you can use it because my intention in creating this was to create it into something that is usable I wanted someone to actually be able to use the item um, because I know some things they're really cool to, to look at they're very pretty but sometimes you want to use the items not just look at them because they're pretty um, and I, I like both I like to make things because you know it's super cool and you know it's pretty uh, one of my goals this year is to create an alligator mouth journal because it is pretty it's really pretty to look at um, I don't know how well it's going to go, but we'll see and <laughs> wish me luck. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. So, bye!